Okay, this is a review of the Roxxon Storm. Well, here it's the S801, but I think it's also called the Storm as well. Actually, I don't know. Let's see that. This is the box that came in right here. Actually, it looks like it's got a little manual. I think it's used because it's got this little stain on it. And there's some other markings on it too. So I don't know, I might have got to use one, but it's in good shape. Overall, it's in good shape. Oops, I'll have to pick that up. Just got your basic instructions. They say it's made in the Far East, so I guess it's made in China or something. Or maybe Japan, but I'm not sure. But these are the instructions. All that good stuff. Put that back. Uh, for size comparison, and the audio might be horrible. I don't have a microphone. Just the phone microphone. But I got the uh, Leatherman Surge and then the uh, Gerber suspension for size comparison. So here's the Rocks, the Rocks on Storm. So it's probably more comparable Oh, nice. It's probably more comparable with size-wise with the Gerber suspension. So it is, yeah, a little bit smaller than the Leatherman Surge. Thicker, though. Well, I don't know. Eh, it's about the same, actually, thickness-wise. Uh, maybe a little thicker than the Gerber suspension. All right, well, let's get into the tool. So it's got the, the blade, which there is a liner lock on the blade, if you can see there. It's a liner lock, which is nice. It's a good, nice hold on the liner lock. Then you got the saw. Saw. The saw does not have a liner lock, which kind of bummed me out. I was hoping that, I saw videos and it looked like it did, but... Now that I got the tool, it does not have a liner lock for the saw, so no liner lock on the saw. I guess, I don't know if, it is a little loose too, but I guess when you're sawing, maybe that doesn't matter so much. I guess I have to try that out. Maybe I could just tighten these screws up too and make it tighter, but it looks like a very sharp saw. It's got blades on each side, so probably for forward and backwards cutting. But it does seem very sharp. And let's see what else we got. We got the pliers. Pliers, spring loaded. They are spring loaded, but these are not removable. Well, maybe they are, but I mean, they're not like easy, easily removable like the uh, Leatherman Surges, as you can see. And the Leatherman Surge, the wire cutter blades, you've got a star bit there you can actually you know take them off and put a new wire cutter on there but on the rocks and you don't have that you might be able to get a punch and punch it out on one side and put new blades on that way possibly and I could check Google that and see if anyone's ever tried that before so those are that I'm not really using the tool I'm just kind of showing what it has it's got the glass cutter or the glass breaker right there and we got our small tools. Got a cord cutter. It's uh, I guess it's kind of like a chisel style. It's sharp on one side. Cord cutter. Got your pry bar. And these little tools don't lock, by the way. Which I was kind of hoping they did, but they don't. So there's no liner locks or any kind of locking mechanism on these small tools that I'm. So there's none on this and this. This one here, can opener. Someone told me on a forum, or I saw on a forum, that because this can opener is in the middle, you, it's hard to get a good grip on the can. And they were saying, one guy did this actually. He took this off, the cord cutter off, and put the can opener in this slot, and then moved this over into the can opener slot. So this cord cutter was in the middle. 
and the can opener was where this is, and it, supposedly it cut, it worked better for cans. So I don't know if Roxon's going to change that or not, but there's no liner locks on those. Also, there's one of the great things about the tool is the scissors, and you kind of it's kind of tricky to get these out. They're not quickly deployable scissors, but they're still quicker than going to the store and buying scissors if you don't have any. So, and these are spring loaded, very nice, big, large, very nice scissors. So if you want to, there you go like that. Put it away. And what else have we got? Oh, and then you've got your uh, Phillips. And this does have a liner lock, which surprised me. I'm not sure why this would have a liner lock and not the saw, but it does have a liner lock. So the more liner locks, the merrier. Also, maybe why the reason why is because I got the one with the bits, which the bits do fit in the sheath, by the way. The bits fit in there, and then you got the space for the tool and it fits very nicely would be nice if they had like a clip in the back a plastic clip that would fit on your belt or your pocket that would have been nice but i'm sure there's an aftermarket one you can get that'll provide that so this bit set if i can get it out it just actually this is a squared keyway basically on the uh, phillips and then this fits right over like that and then you got your bits that you can uh, that you can just put right on there, and it's magnetic too. This is I think this is magnetic, and then this is magnetic as well, which is nice. And then you just close it up, and then you've got a screwdriver. As far as what I wonder though is if you can get a higher. See if they had a second position here, you could get more torque on it. If it locked here, and it locks here, but if it locked there as well, you could have more torque, you know, more leverage. But you might be able to just kind of hold it with your hand that way and secure it and get the leverage that way. I haven't tried that, but it might work. So there's that. Other thing you have, which, oh, you've got a file. Oh, let's do the, let's do the can of, or the bottle opener first. You got a full on legitimate uh, bottle opener or wine, I'm sorry. Wine, well, I guess a wine bottle opener. You've got the leverage, uh, this leverage piece, and then you've got the, the uh, corkscrew. This is also a bottle opener that just, this you can open regular bottles with, and then the rest is for wine bottles. And then you've got this file. No line, there's no lock on this either. But you got a flat head and you got a flat file and then you got a cross cross pattern file on the back. So more liner locks would have been nice or some kind of lock. But overall, I really do like the tool. Then you got a ruler here. Looks like it's metric. Looks like it's metric. Would have been nice if they, they had a version with inches, but it's still some kind of guide. I guess if you know your conversions, you can still be useful for inches, or you might need it for metric. So, but overall, it's very nice tool, useful features. Blade. I wonder if I can pause this and grab a piece of paper real quick. not testing very much of it but I wonder if I could do a blade test real quick seems like it's a pretty sharp blade yeah that's pretty damn sharp it's cutting this paper nice giving us pretty damn clean cuts once you get it started it cuts it pretty good so yeah, pretty sharp blade and it does have the lock, so. Overall though, I do like this tool. Put those back in there. These will fit. You can kind of see how this fits in the case. Stick those in that little pouch part of the case and then this goes in there. Like 
so and there you have it and that is a review for the Roxxon S801 I believe it's also called the Roxxon Storm